Hey, what's up guys? David here, your Android Junkie or AndroidSpin.com bringing you a uh, first look or more of a hands-on. Here are my hands, down my freaking phone, and we're going to be showing you some uh, Chameleon Launcher. And here you go. And that's it. End of the video. Go. No, just kidding. Um, a little more to it, of course. As you can see here, I got some things set up. Uh, this is a very widget-based launcher. I mean, it's really just nothing but widgets. Um, and for the most part, live widgets, because this thing updates a lot. Like, anytime you turn it on, it just updates the widgets. So, as you see, I got my Twitter feed right here. And I got an Instagram uh, widget, which I really, really like. I wish I can get that separate. As well as this YouTube widget, too. Just cool freaking stuff right there. You click on the, the picture, you have the option of going, you know, either on the web or the app, which is cool. Um, one thing I don't like about this Twitter is, yeah, you can click on the link. Sorry for my popping in my throat. Um, it just gives you this, you know, either reply, favorite, or retweet, which is kind of lame, and then you can't do anything with it. It's like, uh, how do I get out of that? It's interesting stuff. And then, of course, each widget has a little header. Which you can't really customize. You can't really customize this launcher at all. It's really not customizable whatsoever. But you got this right here, which is kind of cool. It drops down like that. You can configure the widget. Which basically, configuring it just bring up this pop-up window. Where the, when at first, when you um, put the widget on the screen, you insert your, your stuff here, your account. But of course, if you hold down... You can adjust it, and you know it's you can't adjust the layout. I believe it's like four by six or something. I don't know, um, but that's pretty much all you get right there. All right, and I got my technology feed over here, um, which kind of sucks because it's look at 16 hours. You don't see who posted that, so that's kind of interesting. And then um, we got your uh, Gmail right here, which is kind of cool. It shows unread messages. I got my messaging. Uh, normal widget right there uh, clock widget here's a couple of icons you can only really put three and something just happened I bumped I guess I bumped it Ooh, I barely touched it then we got some switches right here and then we go over here and we got my weather which is in Celsius and I really don't know how to change it as well as that I mean I guess I can just configure it but if we go over here to a blank screen it lets you know hold down and then you got your widgets right here. These are all the chameleon widgets, and you can download another like calendar one. I think some other ones too. Um, the G the G plus one, I got excited for this, but when I put it on there, I'm not gonna show you. But when I put it on there, it was showing posts I did 40 days ago. <laughs> Didn't make sense. And if you want to get rid of the widget, you just hit that remove widget. It was kind of strange. I was kind of excited. I was thinking, oh cool, you get circles and the feeds from your circles, but no, not quite. But yeah, you got switches, I mean, pretty much everything I've showed you, Facebook, Calendar, all that stuff. And then, of course, you could put your own widgets, the regular Android widgets that you have. Then you got wallpapers. They have a lot of cool wallpapers you can go through. Not bad, not bad at all. And I guess, like, the main feature of Chameleon Launcher is what time of day, where you're at, um, and what kind of home screen you will have during that time of day. So if you hit the button right there... You can configure right here, like it says home. And you can edit conditions. So you can edit by time, or you can edit by Wi-Fi location. So if you have a different Wi-Fi, obviously you have a different Wi-Fi at home, you have a different Wi-Fi at work. Once it recognizes where you're at, it'll change your home screens, which is cool. I think it's cool. And then it has your location too. So you can configure that and do all that fun stuff. You can rename it too, but... That's pretty much it for settings. You don't really have any settings button. If you look down here, you get this dock. And uh, I can only fit two right here unless I move it to landscape, then I see two more. <laughs> it's interesting. But uh, we got your little app drawer right here, which it just lifts it up, which is kind of cool. I like that effect. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna go back to that blank screen. And say you wanted to put the Android spin, you can just add to dash, just like, that <laughs> it disappeared that was weird still still getting used to it um i'm running android 4.2.2 on my 1s also i don't think it likes it that much it was having some problems but yeah you can do that and then of course you could add more 
So add some Angry Birds. And of course you can add folders too, which is nice. They have folders and it comes up pretty quickly. I kind of like that effect that regular stock uh, Android has. Um, that's pretty much it though. I mean, it's not bad. I really like the Instagram widget and the YouTube widget and that's about it. Other than that, I, I wouldn't use this as a, as a daily driver. Like I said, I've had some uh, problems. Like if I'm in texting, oh hey, it went away. Cool. Ooh, I like her. She plays the drums. Anyways, um, yeah, when I was texting and then I'd go back to the home screen, it would just completely restart, which is very annoying. And, you know, I, th I mean, it could be just, it's just not working well with my ROM. So, but it's smooth though. The transitions are smooth. Oh yeah, so you hit that and get either open YouTube, pop up player, whatever you want. That's kind of cool. But it's pretty smooth though. It's smooth when you scroll through. So, not too bad, not too bad at all, but, but yeah, it, it costs uh, two dollars, a random two dollars and sixty-one cents in the Play Store. Interesting. So yeah, if you want to download it, go download it, try it out. Um, it'll take you a little bit probably to set up your account, so you might, that 15 minute window might go fast. So, anyways guys, hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video, subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I'm David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been a hands-on with Chameleon Launcher for the phone. Thank you for watching.